What's up guys, Max here. Welcome back to another electronics project video tutorial. This time we're going to make yet another simple but powerful stun gun. I posted a video about a year and a bit ago showing you how to make a simple stun gun and that video seemed to get quite a bit of attention and many of you have actually followed up on making your own taser. So I thought why not, here we go, I'll release version 2 of the stun gun. This one's packed down to a smaller size, has got an actual charging module, a higher capacity battery with a handful of other different features. Just before we jump right into the video, do this project project at your own risk. These stun gun modules are no joke, so do have someone else around you while making this or testing it out. So let's cut to the chase and make this thing. Here's the main materials, parts and tools you'll need to make the stun gun. This is sort of how all the parts are going to sit together. First, let's cut a 14 centimeter segment from a three quarter inch electrical PVC pipe. Be sure to keep any excess cut off pieces for later. Cut out holes for the push button and power indicator LED. Solder a couple of wires coming from the battery to the outputs of the TP4056 charging board. Hook up the negative terminal of the high voltage pulse generator module to the negative of the battery. Solder the positive input terminal of the pulse generator to either end of the push button. Then solder another wire to the other push button pin. With a gadget that's so packed down and compact as this one, be sure to add heat shrink tubing and electrical tape to any spots that you can to insulate the connections from shorting each other. Solder the loose push button wire to one end of the safety switch and the other end of the safety switch back to the positive battery terminal. Solder a red power indicator LED to the circuit with a 50 ohm resistor. Be sure to extend its connection through a couple of longer wires to make sure it can reach out to the top of the stun gun. So when flicking on the bottom safety switch, the power indicator LED should go on and you should now be able to run the pulse generator. Next, let's get things into the PVC case. If your stun gun module doesn't quite seem to fit into the pipe, then you can sand a bit of the plastic off. Now that you've pushed most of everything into the pipe, you can re-solder the push button switch and LED. After the power indicating LED is glued up there in place, let's prepare those two high voltage output wires so that we can attach these probes onto them. After fixating these two probes onto the wire ends, I notice as the high voltage arc happens somewhere down at the bottom of those probes. Since that's not what we want, we'll point the screws away from each other, pointing the opposite directions, and even place a couple of insulating pieces of plastic in between the two probes and the LED so that no sparks jump elsewhere, and fill everything up around them with some two solution based epoxy. Now that we fixed the gap issue and filled it all up with epoxy, this is how it should look. As you can see, the spark happens right at the tips of the two prongs, just how we want it to work. To even things out even better, you can add another additional layer of epoxy. Next, take any remaining piece of PVC pipe cut off and then melt it out into a flat sheet. Cutting out a little circle that's 25 millimeters in diameter, we're now able to make this as the bottom cover of our taser, while also making a hole for the switch to poke out and a little slot for the USB charging port. To get the back cover on, you may need to unsolder the switch and then solder it back in place once you've glued the cover in. To 
we're pretty much finished with the taser at this point. This is optional. If you want, you can spray paint your taser whatever color you like. Make any kind of decals. I'll choose the color black as the base color and make a little lightning bolt down the bottom. Just for the aesthetics, I added a couple of pieces of heat shrink tubing to the probes. So here's the overall simplified circuit diagram to this stun gun. On the left hand side we have this charging board which charges specifically 3.7 volt one cell batteries. We have one over here, the power supply for the stun gun. We have connected to it an SPST switch which is the safety switch of this whole stun gun. Once that's flicked on, the circuit closes and powers on this LED which is grounded through a 50 ohm power limiting resistor. Now you're able to press on this push button which initiates the stun gun module to turn on and generate a high voltage arc. Inside of this pulse generator module, you have this circuit over here. So this is the approximate module schematic for the high voltage step up pulse generator transformer. I won't go into great detail about each component and how they work, but what I can tell you is that this side of the circuit connected to the primary coil you have a single transistor oscillating circuit which switches the polarity of this coil positive to negative, negative to positive and so on at a certain frequency and then this energy gets transferred to the secondary coil with the stepped up voltage. It's got more windings than the primary coil but many many more than what's depicted in this diagram. Then it gets passed on to this diode and capacitor multiplying circuit to then get the desired voltage and power on the output side. This taser has a minimum output of about 8 kilovolts all the way up to 20 to 30 from what other people say. So who really knows what's their full potential? But it's definitely not 400,000 volts like what the manufacturers state, which is an exaggerated amount anyway. So guys, to wrap things up, this stun gun has been pretty cool to make, and if you're planning on making your own one based on my tutorial, don't play around with this kind of tech on your own. Have someone around you, and like that saying goes, if in doubt, just don't. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys around soon. Peace.